Ladies and gentlemen, climate change is the heart of a storm of crises sweeping across the world, hitting the most vulnerable hardest. We have a responsibility to stand by their side, to join hands for common actions and not only words. The Climate for Peace initiative was established in 2022 during the Berlin Climate and Security Conference. This multilateral initiative promotes, coordinates and advances concrete climate security projects on the ground. One year after its launch, the initiative has a growing list of member countries. It's very important for us to gather here today to find uh, concrete uh, measures and policies to, in order to combat the problems caused by climate changes. Germany's first contribution to the initiative is um, our peace pillar of our weathering risk initiative. And the peace pillar actually is going to implement concrete projects based on the risk analyses provided by weathering risks. There is a lot we can do in the field of sharing technology building competence and building capacity. The Climate for Peace initiative identifies learnings from shared experiences of what works and what doesn't work on the ground and identifies good practices that can be scaled up. JAS was designed in 2021 in an effort to contribute to tackling underlying drivers um, of conflict um, related to unequal access to natural resources. It is currently implemented in over 250 communities in the southern region of Mali, in Sikasso, Segu and Kulikuro. So in the first year, um, JAS showed great results on conflict uh, reduction, with 85% of disputes brought to the Comité Foncier uh, resolved. And on the uh, inclusion of women, uh, who are now represented in all of the Comité Fonciers covered by the programme. So the overarching mission of our project is to empower local communities at three levels. Water security, food security and conflict prevention. If there is really one message that I would like you to take away from our project is the one on the peace-inducive power of climate action. Also the importance of a strong and flexible local partner. Like this year with the outbreak of armed conflicts in Sudan, things got really complicated. And the reason why the project still continues, while many others have been put on hold, is exactly this very strong local partnership. The area where the program is, uh, is being implemented is in the northern part of Kenya. The area is arid, dry, and therefore uh, the main livestock or the main economic uh, background of those population is livestock keeping. What we have learned in our programming is that increasing climate shock and various vulnerabilities that affect people can only be managed by partnership and by working collaboratively. Because once peace is available, once we have peace, I think we will be able to manage climate change, food insecurity, climate shocks and, and all that relates. Climate for Peace gives the participating countries space to exchange experiences, present and discuss project ideas, make needs clear, support each other financially and match the supply and demand for implementing projects. It is a global endeavour that focuses on the experiences and needs of affected countries. <laughs>